Hello, welcome back. Uh, right, so let's just fire up the game today. I'm in the middle of a 49 mile per hour leftward skid in my car. Uh, okay, well, let's try the handbrake. And we immediately stopped. I'm not quite sure how that happened. Yay, physics. Uh, nope, I don't think I wanted to let go of the controls. What the hell was I doing? Why am I in the trees? Ah, that's where the fungal spire is. The fungal bloom. Ah, uh, yes, I've had fun with those before. I remember. Alright, so let's try and get out of the trees. Or crash into more of them. Ah, whoa. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, driving. It's fun. I'm going to really have to be on the lookout for a new car by the looks of things. Although there was, um... Where was it? Was it there? No. Truck needs gas. Yeah, I mean, there is one right there. I could just fuel it up. But, uh, what time of day is it? It's 10 to 2. Uh, we're going to go north. I think I was going to go back to the shelter, but, um... No, we're going to go north. Oh, that's right. I was rolling around in raw sewage last time, wasn't I? Hmm. Now, what do you suppose this is? Random pile of rubbish? Uh, rubble, even? Not rubbish. Hmm. There's nothing there. Just rocks. That is very peculiar. I'm not quite sure what that is at all. Let's do a little drive-by. I don't know, usually when you find little things of rubble like that, they're kind of artifacts or something in there, but... Oh, I don't see anything. Uh, let's... Oh, there's another one up there as well. Hmm. This is curiouser and curiouser. So what is in there? A wood axe and some logs. Somebody felt the need to put a bunch of traps around. It's nice of them. Oh, those are landmines. Whoa, okay. Turn around the landmines. Oh boy. Like, if I drove over them, that would definitely trash the car. I mean, there'd be no two ways about it. So, uh, I'm by just the edge of the town here, and there is a military surplus store there as well as a couple of pharmacies, so I'm thinking I might as well, while I'm up here, might as well go check them out. Um, I might be in a bit of a bad shape at the moment. Uh, yeah, we are quite bad. Because uh, we do have radiation poisoning, but, you know, all the, all the more reasons to go visit a pharmacy. But, um... Alright, so what have I found here? Electronics store, library, yeah, you know, nice stuff. And I grab a zombie, which um, has not initiated safe mode. Well, started off anyway. Right, okay, uh, let's swing around a little bit and uh, uh, watch out for the car. So, what are all these things? There is a shopping cart. A motorbike alternator, a 13 inch wheel, and a muffler. Now, does a motorbike alternator really differ all that much from a car alternator? Why did my... Hmm, my car just seemed to stop. Your sports car does not have enough wheels to move. I see! <laughs> um. Right, we're gonna have to kill this zombie before we hop out. Alright, what is our speed at the moment? It is a hundred. So we're not doing too badly in that respect. Uh, don't see any super fast zombies next to me. I wanna check out this car because it looks weird. What is it? It's an electric car. Ah, that's the solar panels we can see. Um, so what exactly is wrong with it? The motor is broken. Oh well. Let's check out this military surplus store. I think my inventory is full, isn't it? I don't know, it's uh We got a bit of space, but let's just poke our heads in, see what's in here. Um, yep, the usual stuff. Hard leg guards. No, we don't want any of these things. Knee pads. I might get away with wearing knee pads, I don't know. I mean, we have zero leg encumbrance. But we do also have 
Uh, quite a few items of clothing. We've got some army pants. Da, 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 da. The tactical dump pouches don't cover anything, do they? Hmm. We do, have, we do have some briefs as well, still. Which covers the legs. I think I might be able to ditch those and just wear the knee pads instead. Where were they? There they are. Uh, huh. Let's put those on. And... Yeah, we do have leg encumbrance. Let's take our briefs off without taking off my pants. That's skill. Uh, no, yeah, that doesn't help. I don't want encumbrance on my legs. So, uh, let's get rid of those things. Uh, yeah, just try throwing the knee pads at <laughs> the zombie. Oh, I missed. Uh, well, I suppose I could grab some MREs. They're quite bulky. Um, I don't have a whole lot of space, but I have enough. So, let's just hop out of this window. They're all trying to break down a door, which is quite funny. Uh, now, where was that pharmacy? Oh, I can't believe I trashed a sports car, man. Oh, well. I'll remember where it is. I think the engine probably still works, so... <coughs> Excuse me. So, if I ever need an F, uh, a V12 engine, and it said F12 for some reason, then that'll be perfect, really. Alright, uh, there's plenty of useful stuff in here. First aid kits, uh, vitamins, I'm gonna have to take some painkillers here. Uh, I've already taken some codeine, the last thing I want is to, to randomly die from a heart failure, so... We'll take uh, some aspirin until I know that it's safe. NyQuil... So I just, I don't need any more aspirin. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, it's kind of annoying in the UK, actually. You can only buy so many aspirins at once, and so many paracetamols. Um, for whatever reason. Well, it's so that people don't commit suicide with them, but it's just the most stupid way to commit suicide anyway. But, uh, yeah. If you want to die very, very slowly over the course of a few weeks of liver failure, go ahead and overdose on paracetamol. I mean, there are so many easier and quicker ways of doing things, but... No, that pain is just racking up now. Uh, what else could I take? I could try some tramadol, but... Oh yeah, he's <laughs> enjoying that. I don't know if you would immediately enjoy eating tramadol, but... Uh, which one is that? That's a tough zombie. It is lightly injured. I wonder how. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're almost keeping up with me here. We are getting a bit slowed down by the horrible radiation poisoning. Anything else? No. I mean, I could... I could take some caffeine pills to speed me up. Ouch. Um, yeah, we're really getting in quite a lot of pain here. Hmm. Even after taking some quite serious painkillers. You throw up heavily. Oh dear. Um, let's eat an apple. Uh, anything else perishable? Yep, we got a grapefruit. There we go, we're full. And our pain went down. Actually, grapefruit is... Um, apparently you're not supposed to eat it with... with uh, opiates and quite a few different medications. Because it actually potentiates them. And yeah, a lot of doctors will warn you against eating uh, grapefruits if you're on medication. It's quite a peculiar thing. Uh, Jack might be useful at some point. Now, does this car work? Nope. Yeah. Trying to get that trapped on there. That worked. Yeah. Very good. Right, have I already looked in this car? It looks like I have, because the door's open, but... Uh, yeah. Well, it doesn't work anyway. So, what else is around here? I mean, while I'm here, and while I'm almost dying from radiation poisoning, I might as well check stuff out. So, there is another pharmacy up there, but I've already walked in the opposite direction now. Uh, I could check out the gun store. 
And now that I don't have a car, I might as well actually just grab a shopping cart the next time I see one. Uh, oh yes, we are in so much pain. Uh, that's actually just going to kill me, isn't it? Like being slowed down from all the pain. And yeah, you can see my body parts just gradually getting more and more bad. Yeah, we're down to yellow now. I think we're going to leave the town. Um, right, so I've just kited a bunch of zombies there, so we go around this way again. Whoop. So yeah, we're still... Uh, what is that there? Looks a little bit fast. It's a tough zombie. Yeah, we're still just about faster than them. At speed 81, but... Uh, I'm just going to pop some Adderall. It's really the only way I'm going to get any serious distance between us. Ooh, a truck. Is it working? No gasoline, but it does work. So again, that's just a truck that just needs gasoline. That would be amazing. Drive that around. Hell yes. Uh, map. Semi truck. Needs gas. So where's the nearest gas station, actually? I think... Uh, there's one... There. I mean, there's no way I'm going to that one right now, because I will die. Uh, I think the next nearest one is probably there. That would seem to be the case. But, yeah, we'll, um, we'll come back for that, actually, for sure. But, alright, this one works, but the wheels are broken. So, it doesn't work. And... Alright, the engine's broken. Uh, but yeah, for now we gotta go back to the evac shelter and sleep off the radiation poisoning. Because that's just something that you can sleep off, you know. <laughs> and uh, of course drag a billion zombies behind us as well. Whee! Hope I don't accidentally step on a landmine by holding down the movement keys. Uh, where is the evac shelter? How far did I go? Holy shit. Right, um, <laughs> we may, we may run into some trouble on the way back. Like, fungaloids everywhere. Spores are released from the fungaloid. Yep. This is trouble. Uh, and there's an office building there as well. There's plenty of fruit and stuff lying around there. Because I think we, judging by how how uh, high our hunger and thirst is, I think we might have vomited at some point without me noticing. Well, that's no good, is it? Glad these fungaloids aren't really paying me much attention, though. <laughs> Not quite sure why. Uh, why did I leave a map marker in front of the school? Oh yeah, CBMs. Well, we won't touch those just yet. Right, so our pain is going down, and our body seems to have stopped decaying. So, um, oh, hello dog. Hello billions of fungal spores. Yeah, I'm going to have to take some more anti-fungal medication at some point, because this is a little bit ridiculous. But yeah, I... Have we actually got... Uh... Leg tentacles. I did not notice that. We have leg tentacles. This decreases your speed by 20% on land, but it makes your movement silent. Increases we uh, swimming speed and reduces wet penalties. Shit. Uh, I also got poor hearing by the looks of things. Did I? No, I think I started with that, didn't I? Trigger happy. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a mutation, but... Leg tentacles. Okay, rolled around in sewage, got leg tentacles. Cool. Oh shit, what is this? Where the hell did this zombie dog come from? God damn it. There we go. They seem to be a bit easier to kill these days, though, which is nice. Uh-huh. Right, so I think I'm just going to pause the recording for a bit while I... Uh while I get back to the shelter and try and sleep off this uh, radiation poisoning. 
Well, we've managed to sleep through the night, and despite the thunderstorm outside, our skill in melee has reduced to five, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, I do actually have skill rust turned on, so that's a bit different than usual, and our body is more or less recovered. We Let's try and drink this can of V8, whatever that is, and let's start the day with some beer as well. Might as well. <coughs> my favorite thing to do. Right, so let's drop some crap on our crap pile. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Right, we've got some plastic bags. Uh, I'll drop the plastic bottles. I mean, I will kill, uh, keep them, but... Uh, I don't know why I nearly said kill them then. Right. So, yep, I'll do. I'll go drop those Kevlar plates over here on my sewing pile. And I'll drop that thread there as well. Whoop, that's a Z. We might as well. Alright, is there anything else we've got? Uh we got a crap load of drugs on us, but <laughs> that's okay. So yeah, we do have quite a lot of food. Uh that's my food and drink pile there. So we'll drop some cranberry juice and some beer. And that MRE and the black pepper. Uh, like four of these bottles of water and the bottle of mineral water which for some reason has a little bit of an enjoyability to it. I don't really see how that's any more enjoyable than normal water. It's a scam. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. So I think that'll do for sorting our inventory out. Um, I mean, I guess I could drop some stuff like a wrench and stuff like that. So I've got a gun over here. Uh, I might as well make this here my pile of tools. So I'll drop the wrench and the spray can and soldering iron. Uh, I have two screwdrivers for whatever reason. I decided to pick two of them up. Okay. And uh, that MP3 player doesn't have any batteries in it, so we might as well drop it. Uh, electric carver. I'm not even sure why I even bothered to pick that up, actually. I could, uh, the binoculars is in tools now, I wonder... Can I do anything special with it? No. Okay, right, and I'll drop my sewing kit over here. I shouldn't have been carrying it around with me anyway. And... Let's go check out a military bunker. You cannot close the wall. Screw you, man. You can't tell me what to do. Right. Yeah, we've got a military bunker right there, so... We've got some ID cards, so we can go check it out. Oh, shit, what is that? Uh, that is a fucking bear, I think. Oh, no, it's a coyote. I can see a bear, though. Um, you butcher the corpse. Where is this bear? Ah, I see it. It's all the way over there. There it is. Has it been killing stuff? Was it crow corpse? Coyote corpse? Hmm, I'm not sure. But uh, let's grab some meat and have a little uh, bonfire. Uh, the rain's gonna put this out, but ah yes, I need a, a utility to actually cook the meat in. Never mind, we'll do that later. Do 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 do. Right, uh. Yeah, I've already checked those out, isn't haven't I? I mean, there's some MREs and stuff over there. Plenty of useful stuff, really. Uh, bootstrap? No, I don't want a bootstrap. But we want to go check out this bunker. And we don't have a lot of. Is that dog still over here? Still kind of attacking that corpse that I left behind? I swear that was there last time I came down here, that's crazy. Rukuga leaps. <laughs> Etc. Oh, it's leaping at me. Well, that's, um... <laughs> Didn't notice that. Come on. Stop being a bloody prank. Get here. Why, I order. Oh, that's right, there's a turret down here now, isn't there? Um... Right, it was on 
this side. So I think I can come down this side. And... This cougar is just having a bit of a joke with me, I think. Alright, is there a turret on the other side of this door? No. It is not that cruel. Alright, I'm not really sure... Ah, I see. So they've just put the entrance around here. Now, I'm going to peek around this wall. And no, I have disabled the turret, so that's good. Uh, I didn't want to have to worry about that. Right, I can't see a bloody thing. Let's turn the flashlight on. Just so that we can see what's here. Right, we've got a tactical dump pouch in there that is not worth opening the door. A UPS. Those are quite useful for a lot of things, but... This will take up a crap load of room. And I don't have anything yet. Uh, what is that? Designed to defeat modern body armor. The uh, blah de blah de blah. Right, not really sure what that is. Some kind of armor piercing rounds. A uh, saline solution? Huh. I don't know what that is useful for. Well, it's just a, a plastic bottle, really, isn't it? Intravenous infusion or washing contaminants from one's eyes. Oh, okay. So we got some food supplies and some uh, more ammunition as well as hydrogen. Uh, is there stuff in the corner there that I'm not seeing? There is actually. What was it? Extended magazine. Gun stuff, but no actual guns. Well, I mean, there's a gun. Which takes uh, 223 ammo. Firearm waterproofing. Interesting. Is there anything. I don't know. I'm not, not particularly impressed with these. That takes 40 mil grenades, though. But yeah, I mean, I don't really like to use guns that much, so. Was there any 40 mil grenades in here? Hmm, not really. So I'm gonna open the one with the food in and take the food. And. Uh, might as well take the saline solution, I guess. Uh, chicken MREs, Neko wafers. I don't think you'll eat those, will they? Can they eat those? No. Oh well, sure we'll be able to do something with it. Hot dogs, hot dogs. Right, okay. So was there at least some 223 ammo in here? Because there's a bunch of these. Right, they, they use 308. Because um, I guess I could just, you know, if, if life is giving me guns, I might as well use them. But nope, doesn't look like there's any matching ammunition for them. Uh, so screw it, I guess. We'll uh, use those ID cards on a different place. Now, uh, why is there a turret out here? And why was it so easy to evade? Oh well, jump over the fence. And uh, the cougar is still up here. Did they, uh... Did they fix the thing where... Uh, you could just sort of go down the stairs and all the wildlife was, would disappear? Uh, I'm dodging it. And blocking it. Uh, I'm kind of tempted just to keep doing this and just grind my dodge skill. Because, <laughs> uh, I mean, what is it at the moment? It is uh, 2 with 93% experience. So let's just watch it for a minute. Uh, we're not actually gaining any experience from this. No. Oh well. Well, let's try and hit it. There we go. It's kind of hard because it just leaps everywhere. If you try and move towards it, the bloody thing. Uh, what was that? Oh shit, there's a zombie somewhere. Where is it? From the west. Hmm. Let's fight the zombie. It'll be funny. It might kill us, but we can end this episode with a bang. Oh, they're not very fast, are they? Well, they're quite fast, I suppose. So... You're going to step onto the bush. I'm going to set fire to the bush that you're going to stand on. Is it actually still on fire? Yes. 
was lightly injured, and the fire's probably gone out now. I don't know. There is still fire. And we're dodging it and kicking the crap out of it, actually. It's stunned and severely injured, and now it's dead. And now I can't. Uh, let's try and move that to. What? Damn it. Uh, oh, I see. So let's butcher it and get some fur pelt from that. Huh. Well, anyway, I've just killed a zombie. So, you know, screw you, everyone who says they're too difficult. Just batter it with a bloody baseball bat. Alright, anyway, let's uh, wrap the episode up here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.